Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Pouring Together. In this video, I am doing a straight pour. And as you can see there, I poured some uh, quinacridone purple into that cup. And there are sometimes colors that I have shied away from for a period of time. And this was when I was inspired by my friend Angie Mason. I love the purples, I love the paintings that I've seen her do where she uses um, some beautiful purple tones like quinacridone purple and uh, so I wanted to put it into this straight pour and see how it would go. Um, the reason that I had stopped kind of using purple is for a while um, I was working on paintings as you've seen I'm doing uh, licensed paintings with Chelsea House Home Furnishings here in High Point. Um, if you go back and look some of my recent videos I talked about that and in talking with the um, owner the one thing that they did tell me was a lot of designers would say stay away from purples um, at least for um, something that would be licensed and you know sold mass market wise because from an interior design perspective sometimes that is a tough color to match fabric swatches to in a room and so I thought that was a bit of interesting information when you're doing, you know, some kind of fluid art or abstract art. So since the, this pour wasn't going to be necessarily for anything that I was going to try to submit for licensing, I just wanted to add it into this straight pour because I really do love the color purple and the tones and maybe kind of some of the mixing within the pour that it creates so I wanted to add it in and this is me pouring and I thought um, I really loved the design that was coming out of the cup and I really um, I used a white too that I mixed my white um, in order to try and get more of a cloudy in between a cloud kind of feel and uh, just a feel of, um, you know, like that it would give almost this sense of cloudiness or puffy, puffy, billowy cells that I wanted to achieve in the center. And, and actually, when this is done and I'm finishing up, I was really pleased um, with how this white reacted and how it behaved once the image started to be stretched out. Now I am torching it a bit and I'm really letting that image, that poured image, just kind of sit there, uh, sit and develop and kind of spread and let things, you know, kind of develop cell wise. And I see a lot of pretty cool looking bouldery type cells starting to develop. So then I um, start putting around my flow extender around the edges trying to get that good encoded so that when we're ready to go and it's tilting time we're ready to slide it around and that the image will slide easily and expand and run off the edges without losing integrity of hopefully the image and uh, see what kind of cool shapes we can get to open up <laughs> Remember, as always, if you're enjoying this video, please hit that like button. And when you do, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you'll be alerted when I upload new videos. And leave me a comment because I really love hearing from you. Julie E. was on before me at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you didn't see her video, please go back and check it out at Acrylic Painting with Julie E. I am 
I'm loving the image that's starting to develop from this pour and I'm just about to start tilting the image around and open it up and really try and just stretch it out and get some of the paint off but really open up these shapes and the and the cool uh, design. So I'm gonna let you listen to some music and watch as I tilt it around and then enjoy the process. Angie Mason will be having a live chat premiere after me at 7.30, so be sure and check out Angie Mason Fluid Art and catch her live premiere. And after that, be sure and check out K and K Create. I think they will be doing a live chat premiere as well. Uh, be sure and check them out. You can really see that centralized cloud nebula forming in the middle and that is why I'm calling this Eye of the Storm. Now you can see after I have done the initial tilting that uh, it's really quite beautiful and that kind of centralized almost eye of the hurricane looking nebula that's happening in the middle is, is developing. It will even develop uh, further as you'll see uh, later in the dried results. Myself and 13 other incredible fluid artists just did Brian's Toy Express collaboration. If you haven't seen that, go back and watch it. It's video number 20, and it's a really, really great collaboration. Check out the playlist of all the amazing artists who participated. Coming up on Fat Tuesday, March 1st, there's going to be a Mardi Gras collaboration. Cynthia Porter Studio is putting together a wonderful collaboration of fluid artists and it's going to be called the Mardi Gras Bling It On Parade collaboration. Be sure and check that out. I'm listing all the artists that are participating so far. It's going to be a terrific collaboration of just some really, really talented and amazing fluid artists. Well, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And when you do, ring the bell so that you can be alerted when I upload new videos. And please leave me a comment because I love to hear from you. Let me know what you'd like to see, what you liked about this video, maybe what you'd like to see in future videos. Call me, please, call me, please. Ah. Now I'm about to show you the dried results and this really dried beautifully. Um, as you can see there, there's that gold in the center. It looks like lightning. It looks like the lightning in the center of the eye of the storm. Uh, I thought that turned out really cool. The 24 karat gold really kind of came up through these lines and created that nice like blingy sparkle that you see and I really like how these bouldery cells were created and it all seems to be just kind of 
drawing you down into this kind of centrifugal force into the eye of the storm. And here you see some of these beautiful colors, um, some of the kind of uh, magenta-ish color coming through. You can see some of the purple also shaded through these bands. Uh, just turned out with some really nice effects um, in the lines and uh, all of these shapes that were created and some of the cells that were created. Just really, uh, really cool, straight pour. I really love how it turned out. I really hope you've had fun hanging out in the eye of the storm with me. And I look forward until we meet again for some more fun pouring together.